welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number eight. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And it's a short kickoff. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Heading for the corner. Decent run here, right side. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 40. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From their own 49 yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. two-yard line. I like the call here. Looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. From the 22-yard line, first down. it left for a decent game. Coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. This is the eighth play of this drive. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. We've got second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. They're about four yards away here on second down. Out of bounds at the 35. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and inches. Double tight, guys. Double tight. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. bring him down right around the 42-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Caught open field. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's taken down right around the 20. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 20. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Five wide. Fires out to his wide end. Brought down at about the three-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Tigers lead it 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 34. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets to about the 34-yard line. No 
Second and ten. Ball on the 34. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 43. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers complete brought down nothing doing They need to get it inside the 45. They come out on an empty backfield. Pass complete and taken down immediately. We've got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. the first looks like they'll turn it over on down you know what I think they still made the right call there I can't argue the play call the defense just did their job by standing their ground they've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now tackle made at the 45 yard line the offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run they can get some protection they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. The Tigers lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it third and nine. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws it in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. So the defense does their job well on that series. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. They'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. He brought, no, he faked it. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. Gets out to around the 28. First down. Got his 
receiver dropped it incomplete. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Gets out to about the 31. The Buffaloes struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes... You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how it can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 46. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 46-yard line, first down. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That makes it first and ten. And they got him. The Buffaloes are going to call their second timeout. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They'll make the sack. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the upback. Brought down at the 48-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. Defense has got some of the best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's hit immediately. Throws incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Short pass, middle of the field, and he is drilled at the 12. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. 
Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. The kick is up, and it's good. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. The Tigers lead 13-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Gathered in at the six. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. It's second and 13. All on their own 23. They bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled right around the 30. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. <laughs> Tackle made at the 34-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Gets to around the 42. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. It's third and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down.
This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he just got stood up right there. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for return man is of the utmost importance. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted, and they keep control of the ball. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's at midfield. Brought down the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Nice run up the middle. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That brings him second and five. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From the 36-yard line, it's third down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Set, blue 14, blue 14, set. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Taken down around the 47 yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So it's second down and about two yards to go. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Inside the 10, and he tackles him hard at the two. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Nice move, and he scores. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he adds. 
adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five wide. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 20 to 7, Tiger. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Zips it to the back. It's on the ground. They fall on him. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. He drops it. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Give to the tailback. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. down 10 yards to go ball on the 45 yard line and the halfback's got nowhere to go we've watched this guy play and over the course of his college career he's made some spectacular tackles nice play Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the grab past the marker. To the 10. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. first down and they'll be looking for six points here
Oh, after a decent run up the gut. It's second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Just be for the box score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Tackle at the 16. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 16. Offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 20. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they push him out at the 41-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Under pressure. He gets rid of this one. Shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 26. Throws a strike over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 13. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Converts the extra point. He's 
tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Under a minute left. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. I'm telling you, every yard you gain is earned, and those were about as tough as they come. He did not get to the first down marker, and he gets a yard on the run. The Buffaloes using their third and last timeout. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. He'll take it from the two. Oh, man, did he take a hit. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back in their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heel. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Spikes the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to air it long. And he snags that one. He's all the way home. Touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. He's got the two. Kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. It takes so much precision and luck to execute a successful onside down. kick. One wrong bounce, and you send it out of the field of play. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can build to the future around his abilities for sure.